Sup, I was originally going to do a whole breakdown of this video, but it was going to take too long, so I'm going to do it in parts. That being said, we're going to do this transition with all this. I can tell you right now, this whole video just uses Sapphire plugins. No Universe plugins, just Sapphire. So you're going to need Sapphire plugins for this little series I'm going to be doing. We're going to do this transition, and I'm mainly going to focus on these little beams and spirally things that's around the transition because the other thing i already made tutorials on which are these but i'm going to show you in this tutorial anyway and it's going to take less than 30 seconds to explain it's going to be super fast thanks for watching like subscribe follow my ig okay this is going to take less than 30 seconds to explain but here's the clip i'm going to be using we're going to be doing a transition from this to this right okay go up to your project uh window right here go on the bottom right where it says new item click that adjustment layer um, it'll automatically size it to your comp size which is just fine uh, if your layer if your clips are at the top just right click add track now drag the adjustment layer above your clips and then I like to just size it for the length of my clips by cutting it you can use the cut tool now we're gonna need the main transition with which is sapphire distort so if you just look up, if I look up here, distort, and then I scroll through my plugins, you can use distort blur, distort, distort chroma, and distort RGB. Well, you just use distort RGB. Okay, and then you guys already saw my distort RGB video, but I like to make it very wobbly like this. Now the amount, I'm going to keyframe it right here at 1. I'm just going to go over to the effect controls panel. Under just uh, and then right here on the amount, just click this little stopwatch icon. It'll make a keyframe right in the middle where my cursor is for the transition. I'm gonna go a few frames backwards. I'm gonna drag this down to zero, not negative. And then I'm gonna go a few frames forward to where my transition is. I'm gonna drag this down to zero. Okay. So if you look at it, we have a crazy distort transition. Okay, so now that we have this distort transition, now we need to add the extra stuff that was around the lights and everything. You're going to need to nest this layer. There's no other way to do it, trust me. Just highlight all of it, including the adjustment layer. Nest it. Click OK. Once you nested your video, the effect you're going to be looking for is S underscore glow aura. So it should be under sapphire lighting. So S underscore glow aura. I'm just going to drag that onto my nested sequence. And then now we'll have this oil spill effect which they used a lot in the AR video. Um, I'm just going to tell you what to do. Your glow width, just bring that, move that up to where you like it, and I like it kind of like right here. That will also bring the brightness up of your effect, so I like to just bring the brightness down unless you like it like this. Now your threshold is what we're going to be using for the transition type thing. The threshold manages how much or how many of the little spirals there is and it goes off by the whites of your clip automatically so as you can see as i raise the threshold all the dark spots don't have the effect anymore but the white spots do so i'm going to bring the threshold all the way up till i can't see the effect no more for me and my clip it's at one i'm gonna go to where the transition is just about here and the transition starts um, you know right here i'm going to keyframe the threshold I'm going to go to where the transition, like to where it transitions, you know what I'm saying? And I'm bring the threshold all the way down, and I'm going to go pretty far out, and then bring the threshold up to 1 again. Make sure you bring it up to 1, to, so, it right, to, so it right, like right when it loses the effect, so it fades out instead of bringing it to 100, and then there's no effect anymore. And so you have a crazy AR, 654 AR transition that's it thanks for watching like okay in vegas pro i have my clips here with a just a regular hard cut transition the we're going to do the distort transition i showed earlier or a long time ago we're going to need sapphire plugin so sapphire s underscore distort rgb is the one i'm going to be using just drag that onto your clip your first clip and then it'll look all trippy like this go to where the hard cut transition meets and then the amount you just want to go over to the right to this window and where it says animate just click that now I'm gonna want to make sure this is selected right here the sync cursor I'm gonna go a little bit before the transition meets and I'm gonna change this to zero okay so if you look oh and I think I have a keyframe in the beginning 
that I also want to change to zero. Okay, now that should change to zero. Let me see. Zero. Okay. Just like that. So if you look at it, it should be zero. And then I'm gonna make another keyframe, which means I'm gonna make it turn it to one. Oh, because I didn't, there we go. So now we have this first part where it distorts, and then we just need it to transition to this one. Grab distort RGB again and put it onto your second clip. Now just put your cursor right where the transitions meet. Do the same thing. Go over right here, click animate. But this time just go a little bit further in and then just change the animate to zero again. Like that, yep. And then I'm gonna go to the end of the transition, which is right here. And I'll bring the threshold all the way down to about right here or wherever I like it. And so if you look at it, we have Uh, we have, oh, I forgot to animate the beginning. So here, let me change the beginning. To, you see the glow aura right here, the keyframe. I'm just gonna put the threshold up to one. Now, if I go a little bit further on to right here where the transition starts, I'm gonna change this to one again. Let me change, let me click on glow aura. I'm gonna change the threshold all the way up to one. There we go. So now it should start like that okay and now we just need to do the same thing grab glow aura again and drop it onto your second clip which is this one uh, bring the glow width up to somewhere where you like it right about there and then do the same thing the threshold animate it so click this little clock icon and then go a little bit out and then bring the threshold all the way up so if you look at it we should have a crazy, gleamy, trippy transition. That's it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like.